I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm going to go over a quick introduction to calculating maximal heart rate. Let's go over the most common formulas out there for maximal heart rate estimation. And so let's use a, a question to help us frame this though. Um, so Pam is 43 years old, in good health, average fitness. What is her maximal heart rate? And so we have this table right here that goes over some of the most common maximal heart rate calculations. So the top one in each of each row here is the equation and the bottom is when I put in her information into that equation and solve for it. Um, so each of these equations were uh, created from some sort of research uh, study that was based on um, a certain population. And you can see a description of what that population here in the, it was here in the middle column. I'm not going to go over that, but go ahead and pause the video and take a look at that now. And if you want to see the citation, here are the citations that go with each of these four different or five different uh, equations for again estimating maximal heart rate. So let's go ahead and just briefly look at these equations. So the easiest one and the one that you're going to see the most is going to be heart rate max equals 220 minus age. And what you're going to see is all these equations, the only variable that you have to plug in is age. Uh, so that means that age is the primary determinant of maximal heart rate, not things like sex, uh, fitness, um, obesity status, or body weight status. Um, none of those things are huge impact, uh, have a huge impact on your maximum heart rate. The one thing that does, again, is age. Now, I will say that um, there's some evidence to suggest that maximum heart rate doesn't drop as much with age if you maintain your fitness from when you're young. Um, but let's just ignore that for now and go over these formulas that tend to work fairly well, but um, again, aren't perfect. Um, so 220 minus age, we would just take 220 minus her age of 43. That gives us the heart rate max of 177 beats. The next one is 216.6 minus 0 0.84 times her age. And when you plug in the age there, you get 180.48 for the heart rates. Um, the next one is 208 minus 0.7 times age. Again, plugging in her age, you get 177.9 for the heart rate. The next one, 207 minus 0.7 times her age. Plug in the age again, and you get 176.9 for the maximum heart rate. And then the last equation I have here, and there are far more equations out there, just this is some of the most common ones, but the last equation is 206 minus 0 0.88 times age. And plugging in her age, we get 168.16 uh, beats per minute for her maximum heart rate. Um, notice that these are all giving uh, different answers. A lot of them are pretty close. So this one, and so I'd say the first, third, and fourth ones are pretty close. Um, but this one and this one, they're they're fairly far off from the others. I mean, uh, we have a, a, a highest one being 180, the lowest one being 168, but the other ones are all right around 176, 178, somewhere in that uh, general range. So. With that being said, which formula you chose probably wouldn't make a huge difference. Uh, if it were me, I'd probably go with the 220 minus age. That's what I use most of the time just because it's easy to do. It's easy to remember. Um, it's the simplest of all of these. And it's pretty close to what you're going to get with the other calculations. So it's probably your best overall equation. I would say a lot of people choose to use this one here, which is the 208 minus 0 0.7 times age. Um, it's a newer one compared to the 220 minus age. So this was 1971, where the, the 208 uh, minus 0 0.7 times age is from 2001. Um, and uh, from my understanding, is it's slightly more accurate, um, but they're almost the same number anyways, and they generally are, so it probably doesn't matter that much. Um, there are equations out there that are specific to a certain population. Um, for instance, this last one here is asymptomatic middle-aged women who were referred to um, a stress testing clinic. So this one might be the best for middle-aged asymptomatic women that don't have any... Uh, 
uh, obvious cardiac issues. Um, and it happens to be very different from some of the others. So if you have that specific population, maybe this is the best. There are other equations out there that are meant for other specific populations. But again, summary being 220 minus age is probably almost as good as these others. They're all gonna be off by probably plus or minus 10 beats per minute anyways. Um, but again, it's a nice estimate if you cannot do the measurement. That was a quick overview on calculations for estimating maximal heart rate. I hope that was helpful. Um, if so, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.